Hello everyone. In the last session, we studied how to determine the residential status of an individual theoretically. Today, I will explain it with an example. Mr. Virat, an Indian citizen serving USA since 2003, came to India for the first time on 30th June 2013. He stayed here at a stretch of three years and left for Japan on 1st July 2016. He returned India on 1st April 2017 and remained in India till 31st July 2018 when he went back to USA. He again came to India taking an employment with an American concern on 31st December 2019. What is his residential status for assessment year 2020-21? So we have to assess what is the residential status of Mr. Virat for the assessment year 2020-21. Whenever the assessment year is 2020-21, the previous year is 2019-20. In the sense, it commences on 1st April 2019 and ends on 31st March 2020. We know that for assessing the residential status of an individual, we have to calculate number of days for which he stayed in India in the previous year because the basic conditions which have to be fulfilled by an individual SSA saying that he must stay in India for 182 days or more in the relevant previous year or 60 days in the relevant previous year and 365 days or more in 4 years preceding the previous year. Any of the basic conditions must be fulfilled by an individual SSE for becoming a resident. So we have to see how many days he stayed in the previous year in India. So, for easy understanding, I will state you on which day he comes in India, comes into India and on which date he leaves India. On the basis of that, we can calculate the days for which he is staying in India. See here, he in and out. The problem states that he was an Indian citizen serving USA since 2003, came to India for the first time on 30th June 2013. He comes to India 30th June 2013 first after a long period of 10 years. He comes to India on 30th June 2013. He stayed here at a stretch of 3 years and left for Japan on 1st July 2016. He leaves India or goes out of India on 1st July 2016. In the sense, from 30th June 2013 to 1st July 2016, at a stretch of 3 years, he was in India. Then further it states that he returned India on 1st April 2017. He comes back to India on 1st April 2017 and remained in India till 31st July 2018 when he went back to USA. 31st July 2018, he leaves India to USA. He again came to India taking an employment with an American concern on 31st December, 31st December 2019. Then we can assume that till the end of this particular year he was in India. So on the basis of his arrival and departure, we can calculate the number of days he stayed in India. First we have to see in the year 1920, the relevant previous year, how many days he was in India. See, while referring this his departure and arrival, we can identify the number of days. 30th June 2013 to 1st July 2016, 
1st April 2017 to 31st July 2018 and 31st December 2019 to 31st March 2020. He was in India. I mean in this year he did not leave India as there is no information about this. So, in this year 1920 he was in India from 31st December 2019 which comes in this previous year itself and till 31st March 2020 he was in India. We have to count the number of days of his stay in India in this previous year. See as I said in the last class the day of departure as well as the day of arrival must be counted while calculating the number of days of stay of an individual SSA. So, he comes back to India on 31st December in the sense in the month of December one day he was in India and then in the month of January he was in India for 31 days and in the month of February, February this is the leap year 2020. So, that the number of days in February is 29 and in the month of March he was there in India for 31 days. So, total number of days of his stay in India in the previous year is 1 plus 31 plus 29 plus 31 almost 92 days. Which are the basic conditions to be fulfilled to become a resident? First condition is he must stay in India for 182 days or more in the relevant previous year. Whether he stays for 182 days or more in the relevant previous year? No. So, first condition is not satisfied by Virat. So, that we have to see whether he fulfills the second basic condition. What about second basic condition? He must stay in India for 365 days or more in 4 years preceding the previous year. Previous year is 2019-20 preceding 4 years in the sense 2018, 2017-18, 2016-17, 2015-16. In these 4 years, he must stay in India for 365 days or more and along with that, he must stay in India for at least 60 days in the relevant previous year. See here, he was in India for 92 days in the relevant previous year, so more than 60 days and along with that, 365 days in the preceding 4 years, whether he was in India or not, we have to observe. In the year 2018-19, how many days he was in India we have to see. As we know that the year commences on 1st April 2018 and ends on 31st March 2019. So, observe the days here. 31st December 2019, this comes in the relevant previous year and in the earlier days here, 1st April 2017 and till 31st July 2018 he was here in the sense from 1st April 2018 he leaves India on 31st July 2018. So, from 1st April 2018 till 31st July 2018 he was in India in this year for how many days? in the month of April 30 days, May, June, July. So, totally 122 days he was in India. We have to see whether he was in India for 365 days. So, let us see further in the year 2017-18, it starts from 1st April 2017 and ends on 31st March 2018. He comes to India on 1st April 2017 and leaves India on 31st July 2018 in the sense 31st March 2018 till he was in India. 
So, he was in India for 365 days in this year. So, we need not see further. He was there in India for 365 days in the preceding 4 years. Preceding 2 years itself, he was in India for more than 365 days. So, he fulfills second basic condition. Got it? So, that he becomes resident. If any of the two conditions is fulfilled by him, he becomes a resident. Then, whenever he was a resident, we have to further verify whether he is a ordinarily resident or not ordinarily resident. That can be seen by us in the next session. Thank you.